Smokestack lightning Shining Just like pure gold My name is Grady Champion Born and raised in Cannes, Mississippi First introduced to the hardcore Traditional blues back in 1993 Everybody tell me say, Grady you do a great Howling Wolf But I couldn't do a great Howling Wolf I hadn't seen Howling Wolf And I know he's in the Hall of Fame And just guys like that, you see, when I go to talking about it, they put a smile on my face because they did so much to pave the way for what we have. And being with rap music, I started out, uh, you know, from 18 to about 22 years old. Playing rap music, doing my thing, MC Gold was the name. I had a young lady that introduced me to this public radio show that was one day playing a lot of chess music, you know, Howlin' Wolf, Sonny Boy Williamson. And once I heard that, it was a done deal. Well, being born in the country, in Canton, Mississippi, see, I was exposed to a lot of the roots of the blues. But we got a lot of people, let's say, from, from Wyoming. I mean, we hear of a Howlin' Wolf. Who was Howlin' Wolf if we don't have the history? Give you, a, give you some way to follow him back. A Sonny Boy Williamson, Rice Miller. Same thing. The Blues Hall of Fame would be a great part of them going in to be educated about how the music started, how the music grew, how the music allowed other music to grow from it. And we have to build it. From the Blues Music Awards to the, the uh, IBC, all this is, is a connecting chain. And that right there gonna be the crown. The Blues Foundation being a part of building this Blues Hall of Fame is just a blessing. It's a blessing for everybody because the music, like it says, the root of American music. Stop your train. Let me go for a ride. Don't you hear me when I holler? <laughs> Thank you to next time. Let's get that doggone Hall of Fame bill. You hear me? <laughs> Great job. Uh, I